you're on the Tudor Hotline with Melissa Maribel. How can I help you? Filling with the first question here. It says, given the distance scale in micrometers, 1 times 10 to the negative 6 power, shown in the figure, what is the wavelength in meters per wave? 5 times 10 to the negative 7. Let's go over that. All right, so this question does give us the overall figure. And then note that this, the x-axis, is measured in micrometers. So though this says, sure, this says 10 times negative, uh, 10 to the negative 6 meters, that's just referring to 1 micrometer is equal to 10 to the negative 6 meters. All right, that's what this is explaining. Now, for this question, we want to start off with identifying the wavelength, okay? And remember that a wave has different different labeling that we can have here, like different things that we can look at to figure out what our wavelength is and figure out the distance. So there's something known as a crest or there's something known as a trough. There are two different ways to figure out the overall wavelength. We can look at the distance from crest to crest. And looking at the crest, it's really just the highest point on that, that wave or on that curve. So it's from this highest point, the crest, to the other highest point, the other crest and that distance would give us the overall wavelength. Or we can look at it from looking at the distance from trough to trough. The trough is instead, it's the lowest point on that curve or on that wave, right? So that would have been here and this other trough. What I decided to do was because the crest here, this isn't perfectly defined as to where it is on our scale here. Like we don't know, is this exactly 0 0.2 or 0 0.23 or we're not really given for sure. But instead the trough is more defined where there is a point at 0 0.5 and at one. So that's what I chose. I decided let's just look at the distance from trough to trough. So let's calculate the distance. That's the second step. And what I'll do is looking at, I'll start off with one and I'm going to subtract this to figure out the overall length or wavelength overall. So this would give us uh, 1.0 and I'll subtract that from 0 0.5. And that amount, that 0 0.5 is micrometers. It's not the overall meters. We are asked in this case to find the meters instead of the micrometers. So what we need to do now is simply convert our micrometers to meters. And remember, as mentioned, using the metric system, one micrometer is equal to one times 10 to the negative six meters or 10 to the negative six meters. So that's once again, what they provided us with already. What I'm going to do is just set this up. So we found the wavelength in micrometers. I'll convert this to meters, aligning our micrometers across from each other so they can cancel. And then we will be left with meters on top. So we're going to multiply 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative six. And that will give us five times 10 to the negative seventh meters. That is our overall wavelength for this question. I hope that makes a lot more sense. And if you wanna get your question answered, just like Alexa did, then submit a question. Seriously, just submit a question. It's as simple as that. I can't believe how easy it is to just get your question answered using the link in the description box, of course. And if you need additional help, like let's say tutoring, or homework help or my notes or other videos that I know can help you out, then check out the description box and I'll be here waiting to answer another question.